And new from us at 9.30 on this Monday, heartbreak for a Lillian man who says he lost more than a million dollars in a fire that brought down his iconic restaurant. That fire still under investigation started Friday morning. Our Ball and County reporter Michael Warwick joining us now live from the scene. And Michael, firefighters are still out there. Right, Byron. Firefighters are out here right now. You can see their truck behind me. They have been out here 24 7 since this fire erupted early Friday morning because it is still burning in parts of that building. The owner spending several hours out here as well today, just beginning to think about his building no longer being here. The aftermath of a destructive Lillian fire. Seen and heard among the smoke at Pirate's Cantina. The restaurant's owner, Tim Lett, looks on. I actually laid the concrete blocks and everything, you know? The 70 year old built the place himself. It was here for a while. You know, I worked on it for 18 years, and it was about two years people got to enjoy it. But he didn't just build it, he filled it with hundreds of collectibles. I had a campaign poster in there of Franklin Delano Roosevelt when he ran for president. Most of which are gone, buried in the rubble. Yeah, you know, there was a bronze cannon and we're still looking for it because I can't believe the bronze cannon melted. 3,000 degree flames stripping 18 years of work down in just a few hours. I'm a pretty old guy, you know. <laughs> Some Anybody need two acres of ground, you know, come see me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And Tim's a really good guy, considering how upset he is about all this, still willing to uh, look at it as a glass, glass half full, certainly. Uh, Tim also told me that he was told by an investigator here on the scene that the fire did not start in the kitchen as originally suspected. We still don't know an exact cause of that fire. We are going to be following up with investigators throughout the week as they determine that. There are a couple of ways you can help. We've moved those links over to our website, fox10tv.com. There is a GoFundMe page for both the restaurant owner and Tim, who owns the building. We're live here in Lillian tonight. I'm Michael Warwick, Fox 10 News.